Hello students, welcome to the session. So as you have seen in the thumbnail, we are going to discuss the most commonly asked question in class 10 standard biology. Your session is going to start now, but as of now, you're preparing for your class 10 standard term two boards, and you will be in search of the most frequently asked question. And in this class, we will be discussing a similar question. To, to do such similar sessions, you can join us at ODA class, which is the most innovative learning app for you. And we have something special coming up for you the Monday, which is the upcoming week, which is a course, the bridge course, and it is going to be there in our app, right? What are the features of these course? This course will be having a duration of one week. We will be learning science as well as math in this course of one week. And we will also have a personalized mentor teacher. Correct. This mentor teacher is going to contact you as you enroll for this session. And there will be interesting questions solved in the class and some practice question in the homework, which will be done in the app itself. So you can download the app students and know more about this course in the app itself. There are more features. I will be letting you know about all these features after we learn the topic. Right. But before that, I would also want to introduce myself students. My name is Mahima. I'm a master teacher at ODA class for the subject biology. I have graduated from BIT Vellore and I've done my post graduation from IIT Hyderabad. I've been teaching students from past six and a half years. I have taught many students for neat preparation, competitive exam preparation and all of that. So I will be using my expertise to prepare you for the board examination and also a most commonly asked question in class 10 standard from the chapter, how do organisms reproduce? So without further delay, let's start the session students. This is the question that we are going to discuss, right? Why are we discussing this question? First of all, because this was asked in 2016, 17 and my dear students, it's right there, the screen. All right. Just a second. Correct. 2018. Okay. So these three years, this question was asked. But this question in the right form was asked in three consecutive years. All right. So I want you all to be prepared. When you see this question, I know what you will be thinking. Ma'am, we know the answer. Right. You will be tempted to write everything that you know about this question. But I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to write to get full mark students. Right. Not just one or two marks to get the full marks, right? Just a second, I'm going to be right here. All right, yes. Okay, so five marks question, this is. The first three part is going to be of three marks, right? And the last part of the question is going to be of two marks, okay? So let's start with the first part of the question, my dear students, which is write the functions of each of the following parts in the human female reproductive system, right? So let's start with the first one, which is ovary, right? Now you can recollect the points in your head as I speak, all right? We are going to start that ovary is actually the primary sex organ in females, okay? So what is the function that you need to mention? It is of three marks, right? The first question is of three marks. So this sub part is going to be of one mark. You need to be really precise as you write the answer. Okay, so what do you write? Ovary is the primary sex organ. It appears in pair. And what is its function? Its primary function, students, is the production of gamete. What are gametes? What are gametes, students? You all know that gametes are, what are gametes? They are reproductive units. Kya hota hai? reproductive units all right so reproductive units are basically eggs in case of human females and in male it will be the sperms correct so the production of these reproductive units in case of female will be done by ovary correct it appears in pair you have seen in the diagram also correct now i want you to focus on this particular gif which is shown here Right. This is one of the ovary 
and you can see that within this almond shaped structure there are many immature eggs okay they are immature students and once a month after puberty there will be maturation of one egg and you can see that this egg has been released into the space here right and that is the fallopian tube about which we are going to speak next all right so you can focus on this particular image you can see that there are immature oocytes the mature oocyte has released the egg all right what is oocyte oocyte is basically that structure which is going to mature and it will be released as ovum during ovulation right students what is the other function of ovary apart from the release of this reproductive unit or the ovum or the egg there is another function which is the release of the female hormones right the female hormones are i know you're speaking along with me it is estrogen absolutely right it is estrogen and progesterone right students right so these are the hormones which are released during puberty and after puberty and after the release of these hormones there will be certain changes and that is the secondary sexual characteristic which you have already studied right so i'll summarize again what is the function of ovary that you will mention the very first point that you should mention is the production of the ovum or the gamete and the second point you can mention as the production of female hormones you need not mention the names because that is not in your syllabus but for your information i have provided you the names right students so aa gaya one mark aapka yahan pe theek hai ab aage badhte hain so the next part is the fallopian tube right you can see the image right here okay so we'll get rid of all that ink you can focus absolutely on this image here you can see that the oocyte is traveling through the fallopian tube right to be precise it is an ovum right now so ovum is actually traveling through the fallopian tube correct now you have also studied this in class 9 standard that fallopian tube is lined by ciliated epithelium right what is the cilia cilia kya hai cilia are those tiny extensions that you can see it will keep moving this way and what is its function its function is to help in the conduction of this ovum all right students so you know what is the primary function of fallopian tube the primary function is not that it is the site of fertilization bachcho kabhi kabhi aap ye galti kar baithe ho right so fallopian tube is basically not the site of fertilization ideal site of fertilization wo point aapko pehle nahi likhna hai pehle ye point likhna hai that it is that structure which helps in the passage of ovum right it is the site of fertilization kya fertilization kahi aur nahi ho sakti can it not happen in the uterus can it not happen apart from the fallopian tube it can happen apart from fallopian tube also right but in fallopian tube if it happens especially in a particular junction it will result in successful pregnancy right so fallopian tube is the ideal site of fertilization all right students so again your second mark is right here what you have to mention you have to mention that fallopian tube is involved in the conduction of egg or the ovum right what is the second point if you want to mention that it is the ideal site of fertilization if fertilization meaning the fusion of sperm and ovum happens in the fallopian tube there will be implantation of the embryo in uterus theek hai wo kya hota hai wo hum dekhenge abhi so the third point is that of the uterus all right so uterus ka kya function hai what is the function of uterus is the third part of the first question the function of uterus is that it undergoes changes every month why does it undergo changes every month so you can see this image right here you can see the lining that lining is of blood vessels it is ideally preparing for the embryo right if there is fertilization zygote will become embryo bachcho ye kahan pe hoti hai 
ये हो रही है फेलोपियन ट्यूब में राइट जाइगोट विल बिकम एम्ब्रियो इफ देर इज फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड नाउ दिस एम्ब्रियो इज ट्रेवलिंग टू द यूट्रस एंड यूट्रस शुड बी प्रिपेयर इज इन इट इट शुड बी प्रिपेयर सो दैट ऑल द न्यूट्रियस ऑल द न्यूट्रियस इज अवेलेबल फॉर दिस एम्ब्रियो राइट सो इट प्रिपेयर एवरी मंथ आइडियली बट प्रेगनेंसी डज नॉट हैपन एवरी मंथ so it sheds its lining correct it sheds its lining if there is no embryo agar embryo wahan tak nahi pahunchega to ye lining shed ho jati hai so this happens every month all right students i hope you got an idea and you need to know what you should write in the paper it should be very precise that uterus prepares itself every month to nurture the growing embryo right students so i hope you are now thorough with the first question and what the points you should mention also for the first question now we are going on to the second question which was which was the function and structure of placenta now students make this common mistake they know about placenta ma'am we know it is an organ it helps in nourishment no you have to first gather your thought students and check what is asked in the question right first the structure is asked then function is asked so we go by that order and we write the structure all right what is the structure of placenta it is a disk like structure keyword right there if you miss this keyword students you might lose marks so keywords are very important it is a disk like structure wo pehle hona chahiye second part is the villi what is the villi villi are the extensions that are coming from the embryo theek okay? hai the embryo is basically present within the mother's uterus so how does the embryo or the baby stay within the uterus it is because of the villi finger like extensions you have studied this in small intestine so these villi are going to be embedded where in the mother's uterus right and to be precise within the mother's uterus it will be the blood spaces you might be a little confused so let me show you the image of the placenta okay you can focus right here all right yeah so this here is the placenta this disk shaped structure is the placenta right there are finger like extensions coming from the fetus this is the fetus and there are finger like extensions coming from the fetus it is embedded within the mother's uterus but it is basically embedded within the blood spaces so yaha yaha pe ideally blood is present why it is going to help in the exchange of substances all right so placenta is a disk like structure point number 1 which has villi from the fetus side and it is embedded or surrounded by mother's blood i hope this is clear now right so we are going to focus on these two lines for once right you should write the exact lines if you can remember otherwise understand it and then you can write the very same points okay now we are going to the last part of the two mark question which is the function of placenta what is the function of placenta it is an organ it is the organ which connects the baby and the mother during the gestation pregnancy ke duration pe baby ko jitna bhi nutrients chahiye oxygen chahiye it is all coming from the placenta right so it's an organ which connects the mother and the fetus so what are the substances that are required for the baby's growth nutrients are required so these nutrients will be passing through the placenta so placenta which is a disk shaped structure provides a large surface area a large surface area for the exchange of nutrients like glucose amino acids etc and it is enabling all the nutrition that baby requires theek hai kya aur ho sakta hai what else do the baby require baby requires oxygen isn't it baby cannot breathe within the mother's uterus baby cannot breathe and this oxygen which is coming from the baby's uh, the placenta is diffusing aise nahi ki blood mix ho rahi hai right 
the mother's blood is not mixing with the baby's blood so how is the oxygen going oxygen is going into the baby's blood through diffusion process all right so from a higher concentration oxygen from the mother's blood will diffuse into the baby's blood and carbon dioxide which is an excess in the baby's blood will be diffusing out fine so we have mentioned two functions of the placenta so far which is the transport of glucose and the transport of gases now baby is performing a metabolism so baby is bound to produce certain waste products and these waste products are also diffusing into the maternal blood right students i hope this is clear now now from the maternal blood it goes into the maternal circulatory system and baby has a separate circulatory system fine so let's go back to that image we are going back to that image right here you can see that placenta is a dish disc shaped structure there is a difference between placenta and the umbilical cord right the umbilical cord is connecting the placenta to the fetus okay so this my dear students is the umbilical cord theek hai ye sab aapki information ke liye hai we have discussed the five mark question and i know that you will be getting five marks all right okay so that is the end of this question that i had to discuss if you want to learn in a similar manner and if you want to solve certain questions from the topic you can download the oda class app today the link is mentioned in the uh, script itself below right so you can download from there and starting from monday we have our course which is one week course students you can enroll for that particular class using the link you will have a personalized teacher who is going to support you with doubt clarification there will be questions within the session e books will be provided to you and moreover you will also be receiving homework question practice question all of these all right so i'll see you all in the oda class app right so we'll be waiting for you all to discuss more certain question for your class 10 standard thank you so much